No matter the industry, companies in this day and age are under constant pressure to optimize business performance and productivity. Whether it is an assembly line, a retailer with multiple stores, or a pharmaceutical lab, almost every business needs to turn their data into actionable results. And as the Internet of Things grows in size, networks are transitioning from being roads to and from a central location to something akin to a spider's web of interconnected, immediate storage, and processing devices. So, what is this immediate storage devices and how does it relate to cloud computing? Let's cut through the confusion and help you guys understand this term. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Tech Levitate channel. And in this video, we will show you what is edge computing and how it can change the future of data processing and storage. Before we begin, we would like you guys to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell icon so you do not miss out on amazing and entertaining content. What is edge computing? Edge computing is the practice of capturing, processing, storing, and analyzing data near the client, where the data is generated, instead of in a centralized data processing warehouse. Hence, the data is stored at different points at the edge of the network, rather than at a central server. To understand why we need edge computing, let's take help from the pizza analogy. A pizza baked at a central location would get cold on its way to a distant customer. By processing incoming data at the edge, less information needs to be sent to the cloud and back. This also significantly reduces processing time. So, a good analogy would be a popular pizza chain that opens smaller branches in more neighborhoods, since a pizza baked at the main location would get cold on its way to a distant customer. So, what's the indication to open up those neighborhood pizza branches, or use edge computing? Well, obviously opening up more branches would add the most value when speed or efficiency are important. When organizations move computing closer to the source of data, it enable them to process data in near real time. Besides this, edge computing can reduce the volume of network traffic, large amounts of data can be processed near the source using smaller distributed data centers, reducing internet bandwidth usage. This reduces the costs and ensures that applications can be used effectively in remote locations. This reduces the size of the data haystacks, and therefore makes it much easier to find a needle in the stack. Now, how does these benefits of edge computing translate to real-life use cases? Well to sum it up, the opportunity to speed up decision-making that helps companies reduce costs, better engage with customers, and enhance privacy. For example, a media production house using edge resources to optimize live or on-demand video at a massive scale, an agricultural firm relying on thousands of sensors to monitor farm conditions, or an oil refinery using data analytics to shut down industrial equipment autonomously to prevent catastrophic failures when safety parameters are exceeded. What is edge versus cloud? Cloud computing is probably the most popular type of computing out there. So, as a contender, it is only fair to compare edge computing with cloud computing. One of the easiest ways to understand the difference between the two is to highlight their common feature. Both of them relate to distributed computing and focus on the physical deployment of compute and storage resources in relation to the data that is being produced. The only difference is a matter of where those resources are located. So, edge computing is the deployment of computing and storage resources at the location where data is produced. This ideally puts compute and storage at the same point as the data source at the network edge. For example, a small enclosure with several servers and some storage might installed at top of a turbine to collect and process data processed by sensors within the turbine itself. As another example, a railway station might place a computer within the station to collect and process myriad track and rail traffic sensor data. The results of any such processing can then be sent back to another data center for human review. Now, in contrast to this, cloud computing is huge, scalable deployment of computing and storing resources at one of several distributed global locations. Cloud providers also incorporate an assortment of pre-packaged services for companies, making the cloud a preferred centralized platform for IoT deployments. Even though with all of its benefits, the closest regional cloud facility can still be hundreds of miles from the point where data is collected, and connections rely on the same internet connectivity that supports traditional data centers. In practice, cloud computing is an alternative to traditional data centers. The cloud can get centralized computing much closer to a data source, but not at the network edge. Edge computing and blockchain. If you are somewhat familiar with blockchain then you would know that one of the biggest problems plaguing blockchain is the speed of processing transactions due to the amount of processing power required, which means that general purpose servers and processors may not be adequate. Although GPUs provide the high processing power needed and companies such as NVIDIA are already reaping the benefits of the high demand created from blockchain and cryptocurrencies. Another factor contributing to the delays in blockchain networks is due to the way in which network architectures are built today. 
for blockchain nodes to communicate with one another, data has to travel through the entirety of the network and back. An edge computing network will create new mechanisms for data flow and remove the need for data to transverse through the core network. Similarly, edge computing can also benefit from blockchain. One of the challenges faced by edge computing is creating a commercial model that makes it easy for developers to access edge cloud infrastructure. There is a high risk that edge compute infrastructure remains fragmented across telecom operators, meaning that an application developer would have to interface with each telecom operator to ensure the application works across consumers within a country and across borders. Otherwise, the developer risks not being able to guarantee a consistent low latency experience to the users. One way to solve this problem is using network aggregation, with single entities taking on the role of creating the single interface that telecom edge infrastructure plugs into. The issue with this is that it produces control points, as the cloud market has been dominated by hyperscale giants like AWS, Azure, Google Drive, etc., taking most of the market share. Instead, blockchain can be used to create a decentralized edge computing marketplace matching suppliers of edge infrastructure with those who demand it, without a single control point. This is how the process could work in practice. Thank you for watching. Tell us down in the comments what do you think about the future of edge computing? And guys wait right here, you are missing an essential step, don't forget to share this video with your friends. We are going to keep you updated, so share it with your friends, family, and everyone. For more insightful and helpful videos, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. See you next time.